Hello everyone, welcome to Tower Climb. I'm playing this coming off the tail of having finished Teleglitch. I saw a... Uh, my only experience with this game is I saw it on a live stream... Like, I, a really long time ago, maybe half a year or more. Uh, but yeah, I just saw it the once. I thought, I thought it looked really cool, and then I completely forgot about it until just very recently. And after finishing Teleglitch and thinking about roguelikes and wanting more, I remembered this game and bought it. It's a really, really cool game. It's, um, so it's a, I don't know if they actually describe it as a roguelike or if it just has roguelike elements, I'm not sure, but it is a, uh, it's a platformer where you, well, as you can probably guess, you climb a tower. That is your goal, to get to the next level and then the next level and the next level and so on and so on, just keep going up. And the levels are procedurally generated, of course. There is permadeath, of course. So it shares those wonderful elements of roguelikes that I love and hate in a good way so much. Um, it's also one of the most beautiful pixel art games I have ever seen. You might not notice it here. I mean, don't get me wrong, this menu looks really good. But you'll see some really cool advanced effects later on that, uh, rather than try and describe, I will just show you once we get to it. So um, let's go. And I'm going to talk a bit about... Uh, I'll talk a bit about a bunch of stuff about the game once we get in-game, but for now, let's just get in. So, new. Real men climb without gloves. Okay. <laughs> um, so this menu screen is, I think, used to play with uh, multiple players. This, it, this game has multiplayer, but it's only local multiplayer at the moment, not online. So, if you had other control devices, or if you were crazy and decided to assign different controls to the same keyboard, on the same computer, uh, everyone who moves in front of this portal thing would then be able to play in the level. So this is just a way of showing whether it's one person or multiple. Of course, it's just me. And in fact, this chapter one beginning screen actually shows off some of the very cool effects. Okay, so it has the basic pixel art in the background, which of course is, well, pixely and very simple. But good looking, don't get me wrong, it looks really good. But what kind of puts this game in a whole different level of awesome visualness, and what makes it really, really cool looking, is the fact that it has, although it has the pixel art as, um, you know, the, the staple for the graphics is the pixel art. However, it also has some very advanced and cool effects applied on top of that. Especially lighting. Really cool lighting. I mean, look at this. You can see there's like a light being projected from my character down. Look at it. So even though there's pixel art, you know, forming the basis for the game, there's some really advanced lighting effects that are going on on top of it. And you can see the rippling light from this portal to... I don't, I don't know what the hell this goes to. I guess, well, the tower. So yeah, some very simple pixel art and some very advanced and really cool looking effects applied on top of it. And the end result is really cool looking. And you'll see a lot more of that. So anyway, I just like to uh, bring attention to the cool attention to detail here. Got that nice John Carpenter-ish music playing. Dun dun, dun dun. And then once you actually want to go, pew. Ground floor. Leofric entered the tower. So yeah, you get a random person each time you start with a new name, and I guess sometimes differently colored clothes even, I think. Anyway, uh, even now you can see some of the pretty cool effects, although you'll see a lot more later on, like the lighting from the uh, fire up there. Yeah, you'll see some really cool stuff. And oh, hello, there's a doggy up there. Unfortunately, the dogs in this game are not nice. Nope. Yeah, basically everything in this, almost every single thing in this game kills you. Horribly. <laughs> yeah, that is the name of the game, Dying Horribly. Anyway, okay, so I've actually played this game for probably about 45 minutes to try to get used to it, because this is not the sort of game you want to do a completely blind let's play of, because it has an extraordinarily steep learning curve. Entirely because of the controls. This game has some of the freaking weirdest controls I have ever seen. Okay, right up. Shut up, dog. 
It looks so happy up there, but it's going to eat my face off if I touch it. <laughs> Maybe it'll blow it up. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, well, just right off the bat, the controls disoriented me because of the fact that I'm so used to using my right hand for the mouse in games to look around and then my left hand on WASD to move. And in this game, you use the directional arrows with my right hand to move. So already, that's very... Th that's something I'm not used to doing with my right hand. I'm so used to having my right hand on the mouse that just that is very awkward. And that, and then add on top of that the fact that the controls just in general are very difficult and strange. You have to hold a lot of controls all at the same time to move around. And in some ways it's not very intuitive at all. For example, the directional arrow keys, when you're grabbing onto something... Well, let me demonstrate. Okay, let's say I want to grab onto this, right? So you jump up to it. And you grab on. Now, to stay holding onto something, like this, you have to hold the directional arrow key in the direction of the wall, and you have to hold down space. Or jump. Both. If you let go of the jump key, you slide. If you let go of the arrow key, it's as if you've taken your hands off the wall. So you're holding jump, but if you let go of the arrow key, you just fall. So if you let go of space, you slide. If you hold space, but then you let go of the arrow key, you fall. It's like you've, you know, you've let go of the wall. It, it makes sense, but it's very strange. I'm just, I'm not used to that. And it means you have to hold a lot of stuff. And I frequent, even after playing this game for like 45 minutes, just, just trying to get used to the controls. I wasn't even trying to beat the game in any way or progress. I was just learning the ropes for like 45 minutes. And I'm still, I feel shit with the controls and I'm constantly thinking, wait, what do I have to press now? So it's very weird. So if I want to climb up this, I have to hold down space and the right arrow key and then hold up. So I'm holding three controls just to climb up this thing. And once you reach the top like this, I'm holding up still. I'm still holding all the three controls. You don't automatically go above the lip. To climb up a ledge, you have to then release and then press space again. Like that. And I don't know if there's any way to actually climb down. If I wanted to go back down, what you can do is just kind of like fall and then go to the side. Make sure you're holding space, though. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot to keep track of. So like, let's say I wanted to jump to the left here, to that ledge. And grab on and go up. I would have to hold down basically four controls. I'd have to hold down shift to run at it. If you hold down shift, you run, you know, sprint. Walk, sprint, walk, sprint. So you'd hold down shift and you'd hold down left to go to the left. And then you'd press space to jump and you'd hold up to go up. So I'd be at one time pressing four controls like this. Oh, wow, that was actually a very far jump. So there's a lot to press. There's so much. It's pretty crazy. And the item, the system for picking up items is bizarre. It gets even weirder. You have to hold down the sprint button to pick up items. Uh, let me demonstrate. Okay, can I jump up high enough to get up there? And by the way, spikes. These are spikes. Um, spikes will not kill you if you walk across them, but they will kill you if you fall into them. There's a little flower here. It's actually kind of cute. Um, so the only way to get... Shut up, dog. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Oops. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna shut this dog up. Watch this. Uh, oh, before I do that, actually, let me show you what I'm going to use on this dog. If you look in the bottom right, you see three uh, purpley blue potions that have an up arrow, and then you see three orange potions with like a plus or whatever, and then you see a green potion. Well, those are controlled with, uh, by default, ASD. So, y the configuration of everything on your left hand is pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. So you have three different potions you can use, and WASD, left to right, control those three potions. So if you press A, the one all the way on the left, it'll do the potions on the left. I just use the potion on the left. You feel energized, as if you can jump in midair. So if you use those blue potions, you can double jump. Ow. And if you press S, you'll use the middle one, which is explosives, which is what I'm about to use. And if you uh, press D, or rather hold down D, you can use your one teleport potion. So let's say I want to teleport here. There you go, but now it's out. 
Okay, now I'm gonna shut this dog up. I'm gonna press S and use my explosive thing. Hey dog! Hey dog! Woof woof, motherfucker! Yeah! You can actually blow up blocks too. It's pretty cool, let me show you that. Boom! Now I'm fucked. <laughs> Great! I don't intend to actually play this one game here seriously, I'm just demonstrating stuff. So, for example, if I wanted to... Uh, you could... You can actually chain these. So, let's say I wanted to jump up to the platform above me. I can use one. I can use two. Now I can do two jumps, I think. I've never actually tried this before, but I believe they stack. So now I could jump, jump, jump. Yep. But of course you want to be careful and not use them all up. So if you wanted to get above here, for example, you'd have to jump out and then jump back to the right like this. See, this is another oddity of the controls. It just, the controls don't really, they keep changing and they don't really make any intuitive sense to me. For example, if you're just here, again, if you let go of right, of, uh, right direction, you let go. If you let go of space, you slide down. However, when you reach a lip up here, see how he's like poised to go up? When you're on a lip like this, you don't have to hold down anything. I just let go of everything. I'm not holding anything. But as soon as you go back down, then you'll start to fall and you need to hold down right and space at the same time. It's, it's weird. It's just, it's really weird. Um, is there anything else I need to demonstrate? Oh yeah, I'd just like to mention about the weird controls. By default, the jump key was X. X. The, the jump key was X. As you can hear, I'm not using X for the jump, I'm using space. Because I'm not an alien, I'm a human being who has played games before. And human beings use space for jump. I swear, it seems like the controls were designed by space aliens who have, like, differently designed hands. Maybe they don't have hands, maybe it was designed by aliens that have, like, tentacles or something, I don't know. But why would jump be X? It wasn't a big deal to reassign it, so I'm not really complaining too much. I just find it very bizarre. Like X, of all things, freaking X. Like, that's such an uncomfortable thing to press. Anyway, I think that's the end of things to demonstrate. Oh yeah, um, something else that's really cool. Now, now that I've used my resources and demonstrated a bunch of stuff and I'm pretty much fucked on this run, I'm gonna kill myself. And this game, the coolness of this game, extends even to the death system. Met death on... Uh, was revived! Uh, yeah, I think you always or almost always start out with a revive potion. Uh, let me open up my inventory. So you can see how many potions I have. I have one jump potion, none of the teleport, and none of the explosive. Uh, the thing down there is like a... I think it's a... The thing at the bottom that has zero X, I think is a blast berry. Which I guess I'll get to when I get to it. Um, but the thing at the very bottom that has no color, that was my revive potion. I think you start out with one every time you start a new game. However, it doesn't, it won't actually revive you from all deaths. I think it's, it revives you from falling and I assume from getting killed by monsters. However, if you fall in lava, it does not revive you. I'm not exactly sure why, but yeah, it does not revive you from everything, just some things. So now let me actually kill myself. Let me, let me use my jump potion to really kill myself well. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
advanced effects, you know, everything moves more than it would before. You know, it's not just pixel art, but it's been fancied up with some cool things. I really like it. Alright, um... So, let me show you... Can I use the mouse for this? No, that's another weird thing of the controls. The mouse is useless 99% of the time. I can't use it to even select the menu. However, once I'm in here, now I can use it. Okay, so, what this is... Is a vertical, like, plot... List diagram thing... Scatter plot? I don't know what you'd call it. Um, this is a record of all of your deaths. With little colors to distinguish them. And it shows... Well, it... Okay, it visually, visually shows all of your lives. And it shows you how high you got in that life. So the higher the dot is, the higher you got. This one is... Uh, 133 feet. This one's 296. That was the highest. <laughs> I died in lava. 356 feet. Death by lava. So at a very quick glance, it shows you how many lives you played. Or, you know, good picture of how many lives you played. It shows you how far they got, and if you mouse over, it gives you the details on what happened. And it even has a screenshot from the exact moment of your death. How cool is that? Look! I can see Bryce got the, f the furthest. Mouse over. Bryce... 356 feet, death by lava. And I can see the exact moment of my death. How cool is that? That's so cool. Kind of... Looks like there's maybe two pixels on the screen that allows me to activate the picture, which is kind of awkward. But anyway, yeah. Very cool. Um, how do I go back? Space? Last time I tried to exit this menu, I accidentally closed the game. Uh, game? How... Game. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure pressing escape instantly closes the game, so I'm not going to press that. <laughs> okay, now that I've gone through all of that preamble and introduced you to the game, let's actually play it. And keep in mind, like I've said, even though I've played for like 45 minutes or an hour or so and tr gotten used to the controls a bit, I'm still very bad with them. So it might look like I really suck at the game, and you might think, you know, like, man, what the hell? You, you, freak, you just fell off a ledge, or you just... You know, I might just mess up in... No, actually, I'm definitely going to mess up in very stupid ways that make it look like I totally suck at the game. And I do totally suck at the game. But it's because the controls are really complicated and I'm going to fumble over them. So, yes, expect stupid deaths. And trust me, if you were playing, you would... If you could feel how the controls feel, you would die many, many stupid deaths as well. Trust me. Okay, let's go. His palms grew sweaty. Like, why is the mouse even on the screen right now? I can't do anything with it. I, I, the controls in this game are just so bizarre. A mouse that gets in the way and is 99% useless. Like, why? Thankfully, the mouse disappears when you actually get in... Whoa. When you actually get into the game, um, it, it'll reappear if you move the mouse. But if you just leave it, it just disappears. I don't know if you can actually do anything with it. Can you, like, select stuff? No, I, I don't know what the hell having the point of the mouse in the game is at all. Anyway, I'll just leave it off to the side. Okay, so these are another cool... Um, There's another really cool thing. <laughs> these are floating things. And you can ride them up and you can direct them. They're kind of like easy mode, basically. You're really lucky if you get one of these in a level. Because they make it so easy to complete. If you want to move them down, you can just jump on them. If you want to guide it to the left, just go to the left. So I'll do that. There is nothing. Ooh, that's a little bit too high. Yeah. Oh, no, I got on top. So let's... Oh, hi! Let me show you what this is. Um, what, what is it? Is it a witch? I don't know. It's, actually, it's one of the few things in the game that doesn't try to kill you. It's one of the few living things in the game that doesn't try to kill you. I think it's a witch. Oh, shit. Oops. Can I, can I even use my mouse for this? Look, you can't even use your mouse to select these items. Why do I have a mouse? I don't get it. Anyway. Um, so yeah, this allows you to buy different things, as you can see. Jump, corrode, which is the explosives that I threw, and the teleport, and the revive. Of course... Uh, how do I exit this? Space? Jump jar requires one golden berry. Yes, I know. How do I... Oh, I guess you just move it to the side. Okay, so... 
The golden berry is, well, at least with the mouse I can point. The golden berries are this. I believe... I believe the golden berries are both a useful item and a currency all at the same time. I think you can throw them as an explosive. I'm not sure, but I, I think you can. And they act as currency. So I guess you'd have to decide whether you want to sell them or keep them and use them. So at the moment I have none, so I can't buy anything. Oops. So let's continue. Ooh, let's grab this. It's a blast... I think it's called a blast berry. So as far as I know, a blast berry just has the exact same... I think it just has the exact same effect as the jump potion. And the only difference being you can't choose when to use it. Like, you can't just use it at will. It automatically gets applied when you grab it. So now if I try to double jump, it's going to use up the double jump. So I need to be careful not to accidentally double jump when I don't need to. Because I don't want to waste it. I want to keep it with me. Oh, and there's a blast berry over there. Uh, let's push this thing down. I believe this is just a box that I... Okay, you can move it, but I don't think you can do anything else with it. No. I could use that to help me get up somewhere. But there's really nothing I, that this could help me get up to that I want. So, anyway. Once again, let's move this down. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. And whoop. Got it. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, whoa. Whew. It actually let me up. I didn't think I was going to be able to get back to it. Anyway, I believe that's a blast berry. Yeah. Now I have one blast berry, so I could go back down to the witch and purchase something if I want, but I don't. So let's continue on my way. I'll keep bumping my head into everything. Does that give me a double jump? Just like the potion stack? I don't know. Uh, you know what? I can't even reach that. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna need to double jump. Oh god. I double double jumped. Shit. Um. Okay, whoo, whoo, there we go. Let me go ahead and grab this. Hold on, let me push this down. I want to be able to get back onto it without risking my life horribly. Okay, there we go. So this is just a simple crate, and once again the bizarre controls rear their head. To pick up an item, you have to hold down shift, which is sprint. Shift is sprint. Running, or walking, sprint. Walking, sprint. Shift is sprint, just like you'd expect it to be. However, shift, shift is also apparently pick up item. And then you press C to put it into your inventory. Why? I have no idea. Yeah, I... The controls are so weird. And then you'd access your inventory. And what did you press? Do you press C to throw it? Yeah. So with your currently selected item, this is, I'm cycling through my items right here using yet another weird control, which I had to reassign. Um, if I had multiple items, I only have one. If I had multiple items, it would cycle through them. I just have one, so it's just the one. So you select it, and then you just press C, which is the same item, uh, the same control to pick it up, and instead it throws. But if you want to pick it back up again, you have to hold down Shift and then C. You can't just press C. If you press C next to it, it does nothing. It's got to be Shift and then Z. I don't know why. Alright. Anything else good in here? Whoop. What is that? Whoa. Well, the super awesome effects rear their head again. Look at that lighting. It's like the lighting is being extruded from the level if you look at it. Look at that. It's so cool. Oh, it's this. The hell is this? It's like a bonus level or something? Uh, what is this? Whoops. Spring box. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, if I remember what a spring box does, I believe you put it down and it provides a one time use super jump. So you jump onto it and then it springs you up, but only once. You can't reuse it. I don't remember actually how far it, it will spring you up, though. Anyway, uh, let's go to this bonus level, see what happens. To Path of Exiles. That sounds horrifying. Let's go! Never been there. 
Look at that lighting again. That's so cool. It's awesome. All right. Shortcut, fatal flight. Oh boy, where am I? Oh, what the fuck is that? What is that up there? Um, it looks like a gigantic blade that's spinning like a fan. What the hell? Okay, I'm assuming these things go up just like the other things went up, even though they're a different color. Yeah, okay, these go up. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, oh, um, wait, what, what? Is there any reason I can't just go past them? I mean, they're not gonna move, are they? Oh, wait a minute, okay, so... I could climb up, or I could take those things up. Let me just climb up and see what I can see. I'm guessing I probably need to take one of those things up to be able to complete the level, but let's see. Okay, yes I do. Whoa! So let's just slide down. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. Another oddity of the controls. So just based on my experience with games, I would assume that when you're on the wall like I am here, I was, I was thinking, how do I jump off, right? Like, let's say I wanted to jump to this, this thing to the side of me, to the left. How would I jump off? Intuitively, I would think you press space again, right? To jump off. No, you don't. That doesn't work. You would just fall off if you tried that. What you, what you need to do is just simply let go with your right, let go of the right arrow key. So let go of your hands grabbing onto the wall, and hold down the left arrow key. You you can't actually jump off. You can just kind of fall off in one direction. So you do this. Yeah. Oh God. Go down. Go down. Okay. <laughs> oh, this looks lovely. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, oh, what the f wait, whoa, 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 what? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I need to go here. Down, down, down. Ooh. Can I go through there or do I need to let's try this. Let's try this. Come on, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Down. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, huh. I was revived. Uh, I was kind of screwed there, because the only way to make it go down is to jump, and when I jumped, I died. Yeah. Um, right, now I can double jump. Well, let me just wait till this stops spinning, and I will... No, let me wait again. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Alright, there we go. Um, how do I... Oh, I can do this. Yes. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Savagely dismembered, and there's a picture of me getting cut in half. My fucking toe got cut. My toe touched the blade. <sighs> and that's Tower Climb, folks. Now I am Marcus, entered the tower. I mean, I'm not Marcus entered the tower. I'm Marcus, and I entered the tower. And now I'm green. Anyway, let's go again. Thankfully, I've got these floaty, wonderful pillow things again. I love these. I would like one as a pillow. It'd probably rot, but hey, it'd be soft until then. Welp, that's in the way. Hold on, let me move this thing. Get out of here. Yeah. Come on. Wow, this is slow. Oh, whoa, there we go. <laughs> That's faster. Okay, well, I have nothing to uh, pay you with, right? No, I don't. So, back up. Looking for any resources? Blast berries. Oh, there we go. Not a blast... Well, that's a blast berry up there. I could alternatively... Uh, can I do this? Ah, fuck, I didn't want to double... Remember what I said about fumbling with the controls? Yeah. I didn't want to double jump. Um, 
What I'm wondering is, can I do this? No. Uh, no, you can't. No. Can you do this? No? Fuck! I'm trying to get directly above me. I'm trying to see if I can climb onto the ceiling. Unfortunately, I can't jump. My arc is always going to be going down when I do this, so I'll never be able to grab onto it that way. So what I'm wondering is, can I go here? Ah, fuck! Stupid controls! Hold down right. Hold down right! Okay. Now, can I go down? Okay, you can. Amazingly, it... Uh, yeah, that... It's not comfortable to do. Um, I'd have to practice that a lot more before I was comfortable doing it. Alright, here we go. Well, there's nothing over there but a stupid rat. And by the way, those rats can do somersaults. They do the weirdest things. You'll see. When you see one fall, you'll see. See, look, look at that. Look at the... What, what the hell? Is that freaking suction pads on its feet? Oh, uh, okay. Time to go. Hey, wait, come back. I want to say hi. Oh, hi. Okay, I'm going now. Goodbye. And by the way, um, levels with... <laughs> that's such a great part of the game. Randomly, you'll start in a level, and it will be a... Uh, I don't know a name for it. It'll be like an emergency level, where lava or water or something is constantly rising very fast. So you have to frantically try to go up. Yeah. It's really fun. I'm sure I'll hit one at some point. Ooh, look, now there's lava. Alright, got the double jump. Uh, which I might actually... Actually, I think I have to use it. Because I don't think I can make it. Yeah, I need to... Well, I need to double jump or I need to use something in my inventory and I have, well, nothing in my inventory, so double jump it is. Um... There we go. Up! <sighs> Remember what I said about the controls? Yeah. Violently cremated. <sighs> Let me show you another weird thing about the game that's related to the controls, but not directly about the controls. Okay. It's really easy to fall off of something you're trying to jump off of because of this. Um, okay, look at where my arms are. You see how the rough edges of this cube are not actually the edges? The edges are actually further in in the cube. So yeah, the actual edge that you're grabbing onto is actually the collision mesh or whatever you'd call it, the collision box for when you're walking as well. So the actual edge of this thing is not where you see the edge, it's a little bit in. So you might run off and you think you can jump. See, like right there. My feet were still on there. Yeah. So you go to run and you think your feet are still on the ground and you try to jump, but unfortunately since the collision box is a little bit further in, you actually just fall off. So you go like, I'm going to do an epic jump, and you go, uh, and then you just fall. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to use up all my potions. Go jump, 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 jump. Whee! Okay, bye. Oh, shit, now I need to kill myself. All right, let's blow up my face. Apparently, you can't blow up your face? Wow, okay, you can't kill yourself with explosives. Or at least not those explosives. Uh, this should do it. Nope. Okay, let's just go up. And we And dead. Alright, let's go again. Now I'm blue. Hadrian entered the tower. Oh, there's a box. Hello, whoa, oh. Oh, fuck, I used the spring box. Ah, <sighs> now it's just a normal box. I don't think I can grab on the side of this thing. N no, I can't quite reach. Alright, let's go over this way. Whoops. I always forget to hold down space and the arrow key in the direction of the wall. It's so weird. 
Okay, that is... yeah, um... <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, that actually worked. Alright. Um... Um, let's do this. Okay. Ah, that worked. And then let's do this. Oh, shit. No. Jump. There we go. Hello, excitable dog. Oh, whoa. Look at all those blast berries up there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that rat. Look at those moves, damn. That thing can go upside down. And do somersaults in midair. Oh, there's another dog down there. Um, let's just go up here. Let's grab these berries. And since I'm now... Uh, now when I'm climbing on the ceiling, you have to hold down the up arrow key for your arms instead of, like, the right arrow key or the left. So if you let go of that, you fall. However... Another oddity of the controls, when you're grabbing onto something with your hands, you do not need to hold space, unlike when you're grabbing onto the walls. You can let go of space. It doesn't even matter if you press space, it does nothing. But if you let go of up, it's like you're letting go of your hands. Or letting go of your hands, you're letting go with your hands. So it's bizarre. Anyway, let's grab these. Ah, oh, shit. I want that one. Alright, let's let go. See, I keep pressing space to try to jump to the right, but you don't need to. You just press right. It's not even a jump. You're just moving to the right. I hope I don't fall, because there's spikes down there. Alright, let's grab this. I press space again to try to jump across, but you don't. It's weird. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go this way. Grab this crate as well. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Let's grab this crate as well. This will help me get somewhere, maybe, if I don't die before I get a chance to use it. Oh, hi. Oh, I can actually buy something. Now I have three. Yep, I've got three. Uh, you know, I keep forgetting about the teleport. Is there any other blast berries? No. Um, I could buy, I could buy a teleport or some, something stuck in my throat. God damn it! <clears throat> there we go. I could buy one teleport or multiple jumps and corrodes. Uh, let's buy a teleport. Alright. Shit. How do I get there? Um. Can I do this? Whew. Wasn't sure I could make that. Oh fuck, it's one of those levels. It's one of those levels. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. I'm assuming the lava is still coming. It was a lava. Oh, yep, something just died. Yep. Oh, fuck, there's dogs. Well, at least I can know that the dogs are going to burn. Hold on, let's watch the dogs burn, huh? Should we? Come on, doggy. Come on, doggy. <gasps> yes. Oh, shit. That was a bad idea. It goes almost as fast as you can climb. Maybe as fast. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It was a dead end. Yep. And something else just died. <laughs> I gotta love those levels. And by the way, those randomly generated death levels... 
can even happen as the first level that you get. There's no mercy. It can... When you first start out, it can be the first level you get is running from lava. No joke. Really? That hurt me? You know, I'm not even sure if that is really hurting you, because I don't see any health meter. Of any kind, unless I'm missing it. I really like the music in this game, too. Oh, hey, witch. You know, I just now realized that that witch is stirring a pot. I thought she was... I'm assuming it's a she. I thought she was shaking her fist at someone. Like, get out of here, you damn kids. But no, she's actually stirring a pot. Oh, fuck. Hey, rat. What up? Okay. Thanks, rat. Thank you, rat. I really appreciate that. Well, now that I've died in the first couple seconds, I might as well just kill myself, right? <sighs> yep. Uh, for some reason, this... I think this is another... You have to grab this one. Is that another Blastberry? Yeah, I don't get that. Some of the Blast... Like, is... Is that Blastberry the same thing as this? Isn't that a Blastberry? So why is this one now in my inventory and not count as money? This one can be thrown. I believe it acts just like an explosive. Right? Um, let me press C. Yeah, it acts just like an explosive. So how's that different from this? And why didn't it go there? And why did I have to grab it rather than it being automatically picked up? I don't get it. Uh, let's go this way. Looks like there's one hell of a storm outside. Actually, I just realized that those... Whoops. That explosion sound? The... That one? I just realized that's thunder. I thought it was... I don't know, like exploding lava stuff. Ah, damn it. Ooh. You know what? Um, I'm just gonna do... The fuck, I didn't mean to do that. That went terribly, but okay. Oh, look, it's another secret. Um. Alright, what the hell? Kinda got hurt, but I'm, I'm alive. Alright. Two Path of Exiles. Let's do it. Alright, what the hell is this? Zardo's Gallery. What the hell? <laughs> oh god, there's a bunch of other adventurers that are hanging dead from this thing. And there appears to be some sort of a red-eyed beast inside of that stall. That is a game I don't know if I want to play. But I think I have to, because it doesn't look like there's anything up here. Awesome music. Ooh, there's a Blastberry. The music's so... It's, it's like a... It's like the perfect mixture of cute and also very creepy and sinister at the same time. It's like sinister carnival music. So let me just slide down here. Can you go back if you wanted to? No. Uh, hi. What? Oh, fuck. Three, oh god, um. Wait a minute, what? I'm timed, what? What's, what's gonna happen when the time runs out? Wait, 
wait, wait, how do I grab these? I'm gonna impale myself on the spike. Uh... How the hell? Huh? You didn't get- oh shit. <laughs> I killed myself while reading the text. Ha, huh, you didn't get all the coins. How the hell does that work? Do you need to get all the coins or you... What, he kills you or something? I don't fucking know. Benedict entered the tower. Well, I can't reach that. Uh, in fact, I can't reach anything, which means I need to double jump to get anywhere. I don't believe you can go from climbing on the ceiling like this to going up. Like, if you, if you just go to the left, you just fall off. If you press space, nothing happens. Uh, yeah, you, you can't go up there like that. So, let's double jump. There we go. If I sprinted, could I reach that? No. Uh, I need to double jump again. For fuck's sake. Really? I seriously couldn't make that. I seriously couldn't make that. And now I just impaled my foot on a spike. <sighs> oh god, is this an- Fuck. Well, I'm already using a ton of my resources. Let's see if I can grab this. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Oh hi, rat. Well, that's great. Thank you. Fendril. Forcefully eaten by rat. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if you get one of those lava runs on your first... Damn it, I just double jumped. If you get one of those lava runs on your first level, I mean, you might as well just... Die and restart, honestly. I mean, give it a shot, of course. But you're probably gonna die. I want that box, but I don't want to jump over there. I'm not gonna make it. Uh, I think I need to double jump. Yeah, I need to double jump. Guess I can go to the left. I kind of want to just go up here, though, because look at all those berries. Oh, wait a minute. No, I can do this. Hold on. Oh, Mmm. Ah. Once again, I just fell off the side because of the collision box is not the same as the actual visual, visual representation of the box. See, these kinds of boxes, these kinds of boxes are honest. This box is an actual box. The other boxes with those weird little blips on the outside are not true boxes. They're fake boxes. What are those red lines at the bottom of the screen? What, what is that? What are those? No. There we go. God, that's so dangerous. See, once again, here we have two types of blast berries, I guess. This one you have to grab. Blast berry stored. So that's a blast berry, and this is... I don't know, it doesn't say it, but I'm pretty sure that is a blast berry. Why did I double jump when I only pressed jump once? Alright, whatever, just use them all. <laughs> Look at that rat try to run. Whoa! Is that a yellow berry? What is that? Or gold? I've never seen that before. Why, why did I double jump there? I didn't... 
I guess it's not just a double jump. It's also a jump in a place where you wouldn't normally be able to jump. Because I didn't jump to get off of the wall, but it still counted as a double jump. It's so fucking weird. Alright. In this case, I would like a space to slide, right? Yeah. Whoa. Plus 55 climb, plus whatever... Hang, what? Wait, what? You mean speed? Is this like crack? I think that might be like crack. Oh, and now it's gone. Okay. Um, Might have to use a double jump here. Yeah, so you really need to be careful with your resources. Because there are many, many, many situations where you actually need to use a double jump or something like that to progress. Because you just, you can't otherwise. Like this case. There, there's literally no way I can progress without using some sort of an item. So let's go ahead and double jump. Ooh, I have, oh, I've got one. That rat just crawled out of a pool of water. Okay. Let's grab a jump jar. Got three of those babies. And there we go. Level two. Or whatever. Does it have a name? It doesn't even say anything. You just got further in the game. That's all. <sighs> like that, I once again just fell off. Because of the collision. This thing's shining, but I don't believe you can actually... I don't think you can pull it. Whoops. I pressed C, which used the blast barrier that was selected in my inventory. I blew up my face. <laughs> Shamefully stabbed. Oh my god. Note to self, when trying to examine a box, don't throw a grenade in your face. Bad idea. Okay, so yeah, the blast berries and the corrode potions are two different things. The corrode potions will not hurt you, but the blast berries will. Even though they seem to basically have the same effect. But one's like a grenade and the other is, I guess, like an acid. Let's see if I can manage to get over this one foot high little tiny thing of lava without falling off the edge. Okay. Ooh, that... Oh, damn it. I let go. Yeah, that rat's gonna come down here. Hey, rat, why don't you come over here? Yeah. Now I... Oh, hi. Okay, perfect. Goodbye. And it just did a somersault. Goodbye, rat. The rat went off to join the circus. Okay, I'm getting better at this. De oh, shit. Definitely getting better. That is a hive of oh, wasps or bees or whatever. Oh, goodbye. Go faster. Go faster. They're very slow, but they will catch you and they will st- yeah, fuck. Uh, shit. Let's do this, yes. Oh, hi. I have two. Um, I don't really need anything. I just bought it accidentally, didn't I? I did, whoops. Don't really need anything. Okay. Um, let's not die by shamefully stabbing myself again. Okay, I have it selected. Do not press C unless you want to explode. Gotta remember that one. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, that's a weird way to go, rat, but advantageous to me. Or you could... Okay, it's gonna go upside down. I'm gonna leave then. Goodbye. Let's push this thing down. So I can get back on it. There we go. I'm just gonna leave that other berry down there. I don't really care that much. And we can just... Ooh, sail our way to the top. Hello, treasure chest. Treasure chest. Uh, I think you press up to open it. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Climbing gauntlet stored. What? Okay, never gotten those before. Um, I can't click it, right? Nope. Okay, um, I can switch to it, but how do I use it? Like, is it permanent, or...? Okay, well, it's C to use your item. What the fuck? I just threw my gun- what? Are, <laughs> Are they passive? Because I, apparently I can't use them, I can throw them. Are they passive? What do they do? Little feedback game, please? Alright, let's go find him. They are somewhere down here. Very far down. Come on. Come on. They're all the way at the bottom, aren't they? <sighs> oh, there they are. Actually, I should say, there it is. It's climbing gauntlet, not climbing gauntlets. Okay, hold, no, get, yeah, just stay there. Okay. What does that do? Oh. It makes me faster. Damn. I just double jumped, whoops. It makes me a lot faster. Holy crap, look at that! Um, do I need to have it actually selected, though? No, you don't. Okay, it is, it's just passive. Okay, cool. Well, tower climbing abilities upgraded 200%, or something. Hello, another berry. Well, if I ever encounter lava again, then I'm probably gonna die due to my clumsy use of controls rather than slow speed. So that's a nice thing. Oh, shit. Remember what I just said? Oh, this is the highest I've ever been. Awesome. Hi, dog. Whoops. Hi, dog. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, grab this and do that. Um, jump. Yeah, let's go right now. Let's go really fast. Ah, uh, can't quite make it. Uh, let's just go ahead and double jump, yeah. Probably didn't have to do that, but oh well. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there we go. There we go. There's my chance. Stupid thing fell off. Whoops. Up, 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 up. And ceiling, and we're good. Whew. For F, hatchery. Oh, what does it hatch? I don't like the sound of this. Oh, and the music's turned more sinister. I really do like the music in this game. Um, I still got my revive pot. That's nice. Didn't expect I'd have it this late. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that... Is that something right there? Or is that just like vegetation? Well, I guess I have my answer. Uh, 
I have a feeling horrible things are going to come out very soon. I didn't mean to double jump. Look at that pretty flower. Um, yeah, I need to double jump. Whoa, shit. That is a very springy dog. I didn't mean to fucking double jump. Wait, wait a minute, what was... Oh, that's a spring box, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a spring box. Uh, let me keep my spring box out rather than my explosives. I don't want to blow myself up. Fuck. Shit. Can I... Can I do this? No. Uh, maybe. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, I can do it. Whew. Stupid dog again. And some spikes. Nope. Didn't judge the distance correctly. It's okay, I have a revive. You know what, fuck it. Let's just do that, that's simpler. I can't reach that. <laughs> you don't want to jump too high in the spikes or they will impale you. Okay, well, I haven't seen anything hatching yet. Is there seriously a secret pathway in a pile of lava? Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, wait, what is that up there? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It hatched. Ugh. I have no idea how that thing behaves. And I don't want to know. I think this might be a dead end. Oh, no, it's not there. There's the end right there. Um. Shit, how's this gonna work? Oh, there we go. Oh! <sighs> ah, let's grab these berries. Let's fall down here. That's weird. You can go up through this thing here. But you can't go down. Hmm. Anyway. This is by far the furthest I've ever gotten. I'm sure gonna die. I'm gonna die very soon. I'm just waiting for that question mark thing to show up to indicate that lava is going to eat my ass. <laughs> Normally I like getting my ass eaten, but not by lava. It kind of burns. Um, 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 I think I need to double jump. Yep, or teleport. But I'm going to save that for... Actually, I don't know what the hell I'm going to save that for. <laughs> Something. Oh, hi. Oh, shit, there's something up there. Hmm. It's sort of a groundworm thing. Um, anyway, I have... Whoa, I have seven. Okay, what do you sell? Okay, let's definitely grab another revive bot. That leaves me with five, six, seven, three. That leaves me with three. Uh, let's definitely grab some more jumps. Yeah. You know, it just occurred to me, I haven't been using my explosives. There's no point in saving them, as far as I know. So, can I make this? Uh, yes. Uh, can I blow it up? Yes, I can. Not really sure why I did that. There wasn't really a reason to, but hey, it was fun. Hmm. 
Yeah, I need to either use my spring box or just double jump. I guess I'll just double jump. Yeah. Hmm. If I double jump to that blastberry thing, then I'm not going to be able to make it up. So let's just do this. Yeah. There's some really pretty flowers around here. Such a disturbing place, the flowers are unusually pretty. Fuck. I guess I'll just go to the right. Well, this isn't too bad so far. No. Yes, use the double jump. That's exactly what I wanted to do, game. Thank you. Didn't even need to use it there, but oh well. There's a bunch more. That was stupid. Let me try that again, but let's not be stupid. And instead of trying to do that, how about I just do this? Oh, fu Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I seriously was not trying to do the same thing again. I don't even know what happened. I guess I didn't hold down the up key to hold onto the ceiling. I was trying to grab onto the ceiling. Um, anyway, Gregory fell to his death. But it's okay, I made tons of progress. 858 feet. Violently fell to his death. Let's get a look at that death. Uh, teleport to main menu, here we go. Game over. Cur Whoa, oh, oh, did I just accidentally start the game? I did. Shit. As far as I know, there's no way to go back. Like I said, I'm pretty sure if you press escape, it just closes the game instantly. So let me kill myself. Come on. Let's grab this. Let's have some fun. Really? That didn't kill me? This should do it. Alright. And then I've got my revive pot. Okay. This is what I meant to do. Alright, so as you can see, it's a very nice and very, uh, very quick. It's really easy to see which character got where. It's a very visual representation of all the deaths, which I really like. As you can see, Gregory got way further than anyone else. And there is the moment I died. With lovely red arrows pointing to the spot where I went splat. Gotta love it. Ah. <sighs> okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here with that incredibly stupid death. I hope you have enjoyed so far and I will be back soon with more tower climbing and t and tower dying. <laughs>